with some special guests. Lauren? And that's what we got on the menu this morning. Things are heating up. Pueblo chili recipe is coming up after the break. The season of the Pueblo green chili. It's a very exciting morning right now here at the studio. <laughs> yes, yes. It is. And right it now, Lauren great. McDonald is live in the studio with a local chef and ready to tempt our taste buds. Lauren, what you got there? Good morning. I've got a swallow, a swaddle of green chilies. That's exactly <laughs> what I got. Let me tell you something. They're different, delicious, dynamite. And if you watched the show last week, you might remember that we were in Pueblo picking green chilies. Crystal Willis, she was there. She is also here this morning and she is showing us how it's done in the kitchen when it comes to the Pueblo green chili. You've got all different kinds of recipes. We're going to start with a smoothie. Yes. Right? Yes. So explain that and then I want to talk about what this thing is. It's a Pueblo chili green goddess. So I made, I made a green chili and then I put some of the Colorado honey in it and then you add spinach, cucumbers, um, ice, a little bit of blueberry yogurt, some carrot juice, and some almond milk. Can't wait to taste that. It's pretty all delicious. Right. So explain what this guy is, because this is all about tradition in Pueblo, right? Yes, this is a rista, and they hang it in their kitchen, the locals of Pueblo, and it brings good health, they think it brings wealth, um, just happiness, and they dry them, and they eat them, and they cook with them, and some of them use them just for decor, like if people want chili, decor in their kitchen so I mean yeah it's very nice very pretty popular. for the holidays I'll tell you why it brings good health oh I just broke it but <laughs> it's heavy right it's heavy it just fell off I'm sorry no. Well, no oh there goes another one too all right let me just set this down before we have a disaster um yeah so I already broke the Rista no right? you have good health and good wealth coming your way trust me. I hope so thank you <laughs> I, I hope so let's hope all right now let's make let's taste and make this chili or okay. this smoothie yep so you got your ice your almond milk, your carrot juice, spill that. Spinach, Spinach. Well, that's fine, I dropped the chilies all over right. the floor, so. <laughs> Cucumbers, and a little bit of yogurt. And then you're just gonna blend that up? Yep. Now I've heard spicy food gets your metabolism going, it's it good does. for you. It inhabits um, good health, um, weight loss. Nice. Yes, it was actually That's in the this, salsa. Yep. Okay, this is the salsa. Alright. Very nice. We have cups. Now it's the same as this one, right? Yes, I just put less spinach. Okay. Ready? I'm ready. Oh, could have done nice a little better cold. blending. That's right. I'm going to do first <laughs> taste and then I'll give you guys some. You want some? <laughs> That's actually... Ooh! I feel the heat! Right off the that bat. That is actually very good. <laughs> you guys I love spicy food so right off the bat. it's good for me hold on I'm gonna bring you guys a taste wow. I don't want, is I don't it want sweet or is it it's, it's spicy. sweet and spicy I think that's why I like it so much that reaction <laughs> said it all hold on yeah, coming your way comes. serving up <laughs> crystal is bringing the heat this morning guys boy thank you so good <laughs> Well, Thank you know what you. you think. I think it's really good. It smells good. It does smell good. It does well, smell it's like good. A Let me tell you something. I was feeling a little <laughs> stuffed up earlier this morning. That has opened me up. That is good. Isn't it good? Oh, you got the kick. Yeah. Mm -hmm. it takes there it is. Yeah. <laughs> it takes Cheers to you, my friends. Cheers. Guys, Cheers. Crystal has all kinds of recipes. I don't want to give it away, but she's got some very unique ones this morning that uh, I cannot wait to try for sure. Ooh. Cheers to you. Cheers I'm dropping to you. the pounds right now. I know, right? <laughs> Bring on the spice. Just melting away. <laughs> Cheers, Lauren. Thanks. Oh, thank you so much. I'm awake now. This is, this is great. That's right. We need to start every day just, like that. Yeah, brings everything <laughs> out. <laughs> Thank you very much. Recipes that are dangerously delicious. I don't know if that's because I'm back here or because they're so hot. Made with the Pueblo chili. It is all coming up next. Pride of the Pueblo green chili here in the Soco region. Yes, and right now it's prime time to stock up on those spicy favorites. And Lauren McDonald is live in studio with a local chef who has a mouth-watering recipe right now. Easy enough for everyone. Ladies, good morning. Good morning. Not snapping like I want them to. All right. Wakey, wakey eggs and bakey, and I hope you guys are hungry because this morning we are getting a taste of Pueblo tradition with a twist. Now, Crystal Willis from Iron Springs Chateau, she is the head chef there, and she is here working her magic, giving us green chili, green chili recipes galore. I can't talk because it's so hot and so spicy. I can't feel my mouth. All right, now, 
If you're like me and you don't know what to do with the vegetables once you buy them from the grocery store, you guys are going to want to listen up because she's got you covered here. Crystal. All right, so we've got the eggs. We did the smoothie. Now we're getting a little bit more meaty here. Yes. We got the eggs. So, so what are we making? So we're going to do the eggs with the green chili, which was your idea. When you uh, came you out told last me week. that I inspired this, this inspired dish, and I you. was very happy about that this so morning. So we just scrambled them with a little salt and pepper. Mm -hmm. So you put this in the bowl. Okay. Some chili on top of them. I like to have a great garnish. Um, avocado is a great garnish. Maybe some chilies if you want a little more spicy. But the chili is pretty spicy, so I won't give you all too much more spice. Mm -hmm. I'll go ahead and put some chili. And this is healthy, right? It's eggs, it's yes. smoothies. It's going to get you going in the morning. Mm -hmm. You got to get that fuel. And let me tell you something. Pueblo chilies are definitely going to give you the fuel, oh, right? Yeah. This is absolutely. Ooh, I like the avocado on there. Fuel. That's a great idea. All right, so now is actually the time to buy the Pueblo chili, right? Yes. Best in, time to buy. Probably um, in of August, all September. But remember, when they're gone, they're gone. Yes. So you have get them, get them, freeze them, save them till next, you know, all through the winter. That's what a lot of people I think don't understand is that you can actually save the chilies. Yes, you can. Um, you can freeze them, them, do all kinds of different things can with them. Can them. Can them. Yes. Oh, okay, very nice. Um, mm -hmm. I need a fork because I really want to try this. Gotcha. Right here. Got I got it. Perfect. All right, here we go. Crystal, I've had your gumbo, I've had your smoothie. I'm sure this is going to be just as good. Oh, yeah. All right. Who wants some? Do you guys want some? Wow. You know what I love about it is the aftertaste. It's like firing me up this morning. You want some, Justin? Uh, Justin's walking right over there. Yeah. All right, I'll have to, I'll have to come back. Or you guys can share. We can this. share. If you want. Yeah. We'll share. It's definitely going to uh, go. You go, you first. Okay. <laughs> Get in here. How is it? it? Smells good. Do you want this? <laughs> it's very silent, so uh, must be good. Oh my gosh! Is Woo! it hot? Right. Oh, the spice. Delicious. Like really hot. So. Yeah. What are we making next again? I get you. It We're does. Holy cow! Mexican, Mexican oh and green chili. Wow. Mexican pumpkin and green chili. Real quick, I want to give a shout out to. What? I've lost my hearing. <laughs> Morrow <laughs> Produce because they have supplied us with all the, this. Shout out to my friend Joe. We've got yep, another Joe secret from Joe oh. coming up. We're gonna uh, make Ooh. you guys. Hey, Wait on that. He knows all the secrets. The Godfather, remember? Yes, Joe. <laughs> we wish you were here this morning, and thank you for all the chilies and the pumpkins. Yeah. Sorry, we're fighting over avocado over here. It's no, good, but I just can't Nobody's stop. listening to me. The There's no avocado. Can I have more avocado? Yes. <laughs> wow. I can't I stop. That. No. That was so good, though. I need some milk. Milk <laughs> is good for heat, right? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we got to get some of that. <laughs> 652, and right now here's another live look at some. Brings the spice in everything nice. We are talking about recipes with the infamous Pueblo chili coming up next. 723 from fire to fire roasted, the options are endless when it comes how to prepare the infamous Pueblo green chili. Yes, and right now we are adding more recipes to this long list. And right now, Laura McDonald, she continues to be live in studio with a special guest to spice up your life. Lauren, good morning. Good morning. Spice up your life and spice up your recipes. Now, if you guys saw the show last Thursday, you probably remember we were in Pueblo picking chilies and hanging out with roasters at Morrow Produce. We love our friend Joe. Shout out to him. Well, today we are literally taking it from the farm to the table. Crystal Willis, local chef and green chili whisperer. She was kind enough to agree to come cook for us this morning. Are you regretting that yet? No. That's good. Not. So we're in good shape, guys. She is changing the shape, the game when it comes to the Pueblo green chili. We've made a smoothie. Mm -hmm. We've had eggs and green chili. Yes. And now we're having pumpkin green chili. Is that right? Yes. What well, is it a, actually called? It's a Mexican pumpkin chili. Okay. So it has black beans, kidney beans, a green chilies, green and chilies. Um, a pumpkin puree. It's very, very folly. Very folly. If that's the word. It is this morning. All right, now we've got the <laughs> pumpkins, we've got the green chilies, we've got the squash that's going to be a garnish, not a varnish. Yes. But a varnish is something that's on top of furniture, right? Absolutely. I was close. But I didn't quite get that one right. All right, so this is actually going to go on top, and it's just for what? Just to spice Flavor, it up? Flavor, and it gives a little more um, umph. You know, umph. they always like that. use pumpkin, not just peps. for sweet. Yes. All right. Shh, don't tell Joe. Good luck. That's all, right. all the good luck. 
That's all the good luck. I'm going to pour right. some chili. All right. Sounds like a plan. All right. Now, our friend Joe from Mara Produce, we were with him last year, last week, and he was telling us, I don't know if you guys remember, the green peppers. If it has three bumps on the bottom, right, it is a male and it's better cooked. Yes. And if it has four bumps on the bottom, it is a female pepper and it's better in salads and raw. So he knows all the secrets. He actually gave Crystal one to give us this morning. Right. And if the chili's secret is if it's short, it's hot. If it's long, it's not. Bet you didn't know that one. So easy. Very good. <laughs> So, in other words, this chili is going to be a lot more spicy than this one. Right? Yes, this chili is going to be less spicy. This is going to be, be less spicy. This is going to oh, be pumpkin spice. But the pumpkin chili is going to be less spicy too. Yes. Right. But physically, that chili is not as spicy as this one. But if Justin wanted, I could add some chilies on top of his if he lost Justin, the burn. Justin, what do you think? Did he lose Can the burn? Can I do this yet? Yes. All right. There you go. All right. Well, folks, our time is up and the squash is done. So we're in good shape. We also have more recipes all morning. I can't wait. Spicing things up. It makes me <laughs> want to do the shimmy this morning. Ooh, yeah. You're Get a natural all spicy. in the kitchen, Lauren. I your, wouldn't go that far. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Crystal definitely helps get me through it. <laughs> Good stuff. All right, Lauren. Thank you. Hey, 720. Sliders on tap, guys. Don't know what they are, but we are about to find out. That's coming up next. Right now, welcome back. Tis the season of the Pueblo Green Chili. I've got the chili from earlier, and we're talking sloppers. You are loving this, sloppers, aren't you? I yes. Know, this is the best day ever. Well, Laura McDonald, she uh, is still live in studio with a local chef right now and getting set to fire up your taste buds, and you have done just that with us this morning. Laura. I'm glad. How do you like that? <laughs> Isn't this, that nice this right is there? So good. This one is the, this is the non spicy one. This is the pumpkin and okay. the, the very fall. It's good too. I've had that. Taste. Everything it's this lady makes is delicious. No, you can't have any. Speaking <laughs> of green chilies, they are different. They're delicious. They are dynamite. And if you watched the show last week, you might remember we were in Pueblo. We were picking the green chilies, actually in the field, picking the green chilies. Now, this morning, we are plating them. Crystal Willis, local chef, she's here to show us her ways with all kinds of Pueblo chili recipes sure to fire up your taste buds. Sloppers. Never had one since I've been here. Been it's here over a year. It's really popular. I um, know. It's a food truck. It was at the Farm Fresh Cafe uh -huh. at Vic Mira Produce. Sprinkle? Yes. Cheese. It's one of the things that they asked me to make sure I put on the menu in at least three to five a day. That's right. You're a busy lady. You're not just at Iron Springs Chateau. You're also doing the thing at the food truck over yep. at Morrow Farms. Who? Yep. Thank you so much, for Joe, for supplying all of the pumpkins, green chilies. We brought those green chilies that he gave us back to the studio. Mm -hmm. I said gone in an hour, literally probably gone in about 25 minutes, the more I think about it. I got some in my freezer, too. I'm, I'm discovering that they're a delicatessen, so I'm saying. Yes. All right. Good. So what do we do with this slopper deal? So you just drizzle it right over top of the, the burger. OK. Woo! Right. Wow. Man, slopper isn't there something slopper. like, isn't there something, it's like people are addicted to watching cheese, like. Yeah. Like melty or something. Yeah, I don't know. It's waking seen, up some I've seen that on the World Wide Web somewhere. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. You're good at this. Oh, well, thank you. Better. Oh, absolutely. I uh, I'm kind of impressed by my skills this I morning. Know. I know. Yeah, you are too, right? I'm your sous chef. You're here. my sous chef. Yeah. That's a good joke. But thank you, Crystal. <laughs> All right. So, what did you say, Craig? Are you making fun of me? <laughs> hey, just remember, my friend, I'm in control of these sloppers right now. Yeah. Yeah, you want to get one? You better be nice. All right, so we just put these on here, and then yep. they're good to go? Yep. Good to and, go. And uh, you're, you're good? Just um, Yeah. Just may I? Dig All right, in. now, while I'm doing this, I'm not going to be able to talk for a second, so tell everybody about the Chili Festival coming up this weekend in so Pueblo. The Chili Festival in Pueblo will be downtown Pueblo. It starts tomorrow. goes through Sunday. I'm not a native mm. to Pueblo, but I've heard all about it. Um, they're having a chili contest. I heard the Friday is the party, Saturday is the food, and Sunday is the chill. Mm. So get your roasted chilies. Go see Vic wow. and Joe at Vic Miro Produce. They got some great roasted chilies. This chili. is so good. It's all so right. hot. Crystal, I hate that you guys can't have a bite of this right now. I, Craig, you got to do your work. I'm going to toss it back to you guys right now, and we'll see you in a little bit. <laughs> I'm getting one of those sloppers. I'm coming over there, Lauren, in a minute. All right. We've got the taste buds tinkle. 
taste buds tingling. Excuse me, mine are, you can, you can already tell, I can't even talk. So hot, but we've got sweet coming up after the break. I love it. All that Pueblo green jelly here in the SoCo region. Yes, and right now it's prime time to stock up on those spicy favorites. This morning, Lauren McDonald, she continues with us now live in studio with a local chef who has some mouth-watering recipes easy enough for everyone, Lauren. Good morning. That's right. Mouth-watering recipes and a bundle of heat right here. <laughs> it is all about the Pueblo chilies this morning. I hope you guys are still hungry. I'm getting kind of full, but boy, are these recipes good. Getting a taste of Pueblo tradition with a little twist this morning. Crystal Willis here to help us out. Head chef at Iron Spring Chateau. She's here working her magic and giving us green chili recipes galore. Now, if you're like me and you don't know what to do with the veggies, once you get them home, listen up because she is here to help. All this came from Maro Produce. We were there last Thursday. Yep. We actually talked about tradition. We did the traditional roasting. Time to switch it up, though. Yes. So let's talk about this first. <clears throat> the Reestus. The Reestus. Yes. What is the story behind this guy? <clears throat> it's beautiful. Let's hope I don't break it again. <clears throat> Excuse me. The Very story gentle. behind it is um, they would hang it in their homes, the natives, for good luck. Still good do, health. right? Still do. Um, it's quite trendy. It's a great decor for your kitchen. Mm -hmm. um, you can roast, excuse me, you can dry them, you can eat them, you can cook with them. They're delicious. They are delicious. Some of them are red, some of them are green. That doesn't matter. It's still yes, the same. Yes, and, and you're, we're going to give that one to your mom. Really? Yeah. She is going to love that. I'm sure she's live streaming right now. She's, right? She's my biggest, most loyal fan. So, Shout out to mom, and look, there's a Christmas decoration for you. Right. We know she loves to decorate. All right, now let's talk about this. Your mom, speaking of moms, yes. Debbie, wise woman, says that this is going to, you're going to beat your tongue, your brain with your tongue <laughs> yeah. once you bite into this. So pretty excited, a little yes. nervous, too. Well, it's a sweet chili, so we take some Colorado honey, we add it to the green chili, oh, okay. and it really masks the um, heat. Mm -hmm. So it's just a chicken slider, grilled chicken, sweet chili, some... Baby arugula, and it's good to go. Okay, so what do I do first? So put your sweet chili on the bottom of the bun, spread it thin, throw some arugula on there. Okay. There you go. Okay. Put the chicken on. Put a little more chili sauce. A little more, okay. Just a little more. Just sweet a heat. little more sweet heat. Put the top on, and there you go. There you go. It's one and done. Got a, got a good one for you guys. If you want to turn up the heat, make this for your honey. Hey. hey. So, time to taste, right? Yes. Are you guys, do you guys want to taste this? Are you going to come over or do I have to bring it over to you this time? You let me know. You, you just go for it. I'm full from last time. Mm. But I do want to try the sweet one. Mm. That's good. Divine. <laughs> no words. We'll save some for you guys. We still have one more recipe. Yep. Fried green tomatoes. Yep. Ooh. Taking it back down south, my friends. Taking it back I wanna, down south. I want to put in a request for next time she comes on. Mm -hmm. we, need a, we need a chili dessert. I've, I've had all these like main courses. Green chili ice cream. We do have something sweet, so yeah. oh, that's true. Hang tight. We we have something back here. Okay. It's a surprise. Oh, oh okay. And bring a honey next time too, right? <laughs> honey. Yeah. Yeah. Honey. <laughs> right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. Thanks so much, Lauren. This Pueblo chili is so hot and so good. It's gonna have you dancing on tables and slapping your mama. We got that Ooh. coming up next. 839 right now from fried to fire roasted the options are endless when it comes how to prepare the infamous Pueblo green chili and this morning now we are adding more recipes to this long list and Lauren McDonald is live in studio with a local chef now to spice up your life Lauren that's right good morning spice up your life and spice up your recipes now if you saw the show last Thursday you probably remember we were in Pueblo we were picking chilies actually out of the field hanging out with local roasters at Maro Produce shout out to Joe we love him and thank you so much for supplying us with all of the Pumpkins. vegetables produce today now we are literally taking it from the farm to the table. Crystal Willis, she is a local chef and a chili whisperer, Pueblo chili whisperer. <laughs> kind enough to agree to come cook for us this morning. Are you regretting that yet? No. Almost? Never. All right, we love it. So we are in good shape. Now you're a game changer when it comes to this. We got lemonade and we got another sandwich. Mm -hmm. So so what is this? So this is a fried green tomato BLT, mm. and we took the green chilies and we blended them down and made a green chili mayo. So you coat your bun with it, you get you some mixed greens. We're getting a little southern this morning, aren't southern. we? Southern. All right, I know all about that. And the green tomatoes, yes. because I'm from North Carolina. So you're kind of adding your little, your little Twist. spice to it, if you will. Spice to, your southern spice to 
the green chilies in Pueblo. Well, just cooking from the heart. I love it's it. That's all it is. I love it. And last week, it was all about tradition. We roasted down at Morrow Farms. Now, get your mixed greens. Okay. This mm. is easy to make, too. Yes. If I'm doing it, clearly. Yes. Get your bacon. Bacon. Which is a nice European... Um, tomato next. Southern bacon. Southern, okay. Fried green tomato. Mm-hmm. Put a little bit of mayonnaise on top of the bun. Oh, more mayo. I like that. Just a little. a special kind of mayo. Yes. So explain. It's not super chill. It's not super spicy. It ha does have a bite to it because, of course, it's a nice Pueblo chili. Mm-hmm. And it's not green. No, it's not green because I used um, Hungarian wax. This is going next. It's going on top, and that's a roasted chili. All right. For the avid heat seekers. Topping yep. it off. Top it off. Topping it off. All right. Wash it down. A, your lemonade. Yes. I haven't had a green um, chili, or I mean a green tomato, tomato in a long time. Yeah. All right. So tell everybody real quick how to make the lemonade. So this is a lemon basil chili lemonade. Basically, just make a simple syrup, which is your sugar and your water, equal parts. Then this is fresh basil out of my garden, some Meyer lemons, the chef mm -hmm. lemons. And then I top it with an Anaheim because it's not as spicy. Love it. And it's not going to make your taste buds tinkle, but it <laughs> is going to make them tingle, right? And dance on a table. <laughs> yes, exactly. All right. If people want to get up with you and get in touch with you, we're going to have your website uh, or your recipes on our website. Yep. But tell me how they can get a hold of you. Um, they can get to me at the seasoned chef at yahoo.com. Seasoned chef at yahoo.com. Yep. Crystal, thank you so much. You really brought the heat today. I appreciate it. I know everybody else has. Really? We are fed and feeling good. Good yeah. food, good mood, my friends. I have like I want to try more, but I'm so full from oh. everything else I eat. Not ate me. I'm day. like, I'm give down. it to me. I'm taking it home. Down. But Lauren, you pace yourself. I just went like all in yeah. with the, I love with the yeah. chili. I don't know if I would say I pace myself. Yeah. Abby, you're always sweet. Thank you. Right. Thanks, Thanks so much, ladies. ladies.